Good morning, everybody. As you can see, I changed. I'm wearing something other than sweatpants because this morning, Joe and I are going to go check out a new place, a new shop that I've had on my radar for a little bit. This place is called Egg Club. They serve these large egg sandwiches. Yeah, we thought that we'd go check it out today because the weather is so nice, so. Let's go. Nice spot. Have breakfast. We're about to join the egg club. Yeah, egg club. All right, this one is mine because it's the lover of meat. <laughs> and then this one is you. Oh, nice. Oh, it's nice and warm still. Oh. It's creamy at the bottom. Oh, whoa. What's this? Cheers. <laughs> okay, let's eat. I got the butt of the. Purse. Thoughts? You did? Did you even eat any? Yeah, just a side. Oh, and you can tell it's great. Yeah, this is good. <laughs> it's almost an instinctive reaction. Oh, jeez. Thoughts? Is... What's it taste? Is it the bacon that tastes really good? No. I think it's a little. It's like, the yeah. sauce. Yeah. It's really savory, but it's like very tasty. Mhm. Mm <laughs> I'm done mine. Yeah, I'm not totally done mine. Okay. But so. it's, it has two savory sauces, which is like pretty nice. And then the, you see here with the toast, they don't cut it all the way through so that there's no leakage at the bottom, which I think is really smart because sometimes that happens. Or more often than not, it happens. Yeah, it looks like they carefully assembled it in their line. Like yeah. they slice it like three quarters of the way through and yeah. then they stuff it. It's really good. No, oh, the sauce is, it complements everything really well. Yeah. So it's like not, it's a very, okay, it's a savory sauce, but it's got a tad hint of sweetness. And then the bread is like Japanese milk, something bread. Mm -hmm. And it's like, okay, milk thick toast, milk butter thick toast. I don't know, just add words to it. Mm -hmm. It's really good. Yeah, I thought it was going to be really messy, like I would drop stuff everywhere, but nothing. Well, it is messy because you have to dig your face into it. Cause this like to eat the top um but then once you get past that like once you shove your face into it or shove it into your face and then you slowly whittle it down it's quite mm -hmm. tasty yeah, but with the meat is really good i would recommend the meat yeah it might be a little too sweet and not savory enough if you just have this mm -hmm. no. well you made good work of this mm -hmm. okay, the good. globular of uh yeah Mm. Look, there's no spillage though outside of that. Yeah. Yeah, we're gonna come in. All right, what's the last thing we got? Hash brown. Yeah. So normally, this is just two twenty, two dollars and twenty. Normally, I wouldn't pay that much for like just hash browns because you can get them anywhere. But I only got it because I saw the pictures on their on their like Google Maps. It's got like some kind of goop I think in it's it. More hash brown. So I would. I, mean, like, I only wanted to eat it because of the goop, not because of the hash brown. Okay, so Let me know what it tastes like. What are the tasting notes? Pepper, potato. <laughs> That's it. Yeah. Is is it cream? A little bit. Try it. Okay. It's cold now though. So. Oh, it's crunchy. I thought it would be soggy by now. Mm-hmm. Oh, it's nice. Isn't that right? It's like 
It's like a mashed potato that's been mixed in with cream, so it's lighter. Mm -hmm. um, it's not as heavy as like mashed potato when it's thick. But it's a similar cream, it's a little sweet. Yum. It's not good. Japanese style because they always mix sweet stuff in it. Yeah, but it's good. It's nice. Yeah, it is nice. Normally, I think I would just double up on the sandwich, to be honest. <laughs> sandwich is better. It's more filling. Mm -hmm. With the new lockdown, or the second lockdown in Toronto, gyms are closed once again, and so we are back at home doing at-home workouts. So I've been relying on a lot of YouTube videos, like YouTube home workouts. The one I really recommend to people whenever we talk about working out is the Dare to be Active series by Dr. L.A. Gustin. L.A. Tom Augustine. She is a physiotherapist. If you guys watch The Flash on CW, she is Barry Allen's or Grant Gustin's wife. And she just brings a lot of expertise into the workout videos. I think one thing that I really appreciate about her workouts is just the instructions of how one muscle should feel, how each exercise should feel, the right posture, um, and then she's just overall encouraging and her puppies are always on the screen, which is a huge bonus. So here are a bunch of videos. So I've done quite a bit, as you can see from like the completed playback bars. Yeah, these are great because you don't necessarily need the equipment. It's definitely nice to have and I have a few things, but she gives you modifications. I think today I will do Booty workout? Okay, we're gonna do a booty build circuit. So today I thought we would just not go through, we can work out together. Maybe. <laughs> done? Yes. Thumbs up for the cameras. Yay. So if you guys watched our vlog last week, you'll know that we went grocery shopping, mostly for hot pot foods, and we definitely bought too much. So today we're having our second night of hot pot, and we're just gonna set everything, prepare everything, and then show you what it's all about. So some essentials if you're, you've never done this before. You do need a pot. It doesn't have to be as big as this one. Or, and it doesn't have to have a divider in the middle, but this divider is pretty much um, a way to separate the pot so they can have two separate soup bases. So you, if someone in your party wants to have a hot soup base, a spicy soup base, they can have it in one without you know, seeping into the mild side. There's that. You will also need a hot pot stove. You can get an electric one, but we were gifted this gas space hot hot stove. Let me just take this up for you really quickly. So this is how it looks like. You just flip this over like so. And then you rest the pot here on these four ledges. Yeah, and then you'll need to put in a can of butane in here. Yeah. So those are like the starting tools that you'll need. In terms of food prep, it's usually, usually just the veggies that you need to prep. So for veggies tonight, we're gonna have some Shanghai baby, Shanghai bok choy. We have some enoki mushrooms. Here we have half of a daikon. And then this is some Napa cabbage that we'll also cut up and eat. 
Later on, I'll also have to pet these. These are, this was showcased a little bit in our vlog. These are the pythons. So we're, I'm gonna slice these up when, when we get closer to mealtime. Start your computations. start heating up the pot that has the daikon and also the frozen fish balls and beef balls but in addition to that you're going to need to put in the soup base so today we are going to try this tomato soup base on one side and then the other side will just be a regular peanut butter soy sauce like a pretty neutral flavor so let's do that tomato paste and you got the other one. I guess I should stir it. So at this point we're pretty much prepped and all that's left is to wait for the pot to heat up, like to have the water boiling. I have to cut up the pagan huh. into smaller slices and then we just assemble the sauce. And the beauty of Hot Pot is that there are no real rules into like what it has to be. It's really like what you want. Um, you create whatever sauce you want, you can have whatever soup base you want, whatever ingredients or food you want to throw in. Like it's truly a stress-free process. Okay, so we're pretty much almost all set up. We're just waiting for the pot to finish boiling. We have our sauce station. These are the ones that I really like. So the sesame sauce, sauce hydro. This one's like a peanut butter shoyu sauce, soy sauce. Then we have our veggies. We have the wusis, or I like, my family calls them losi jais. We have the meat. We just took it out of the freezer. And then we have some pedans, like century year old egg. And then very key with our setup, you need a pair of chopsticks for the raw food. And then you have your own eating ch chopstick, the ladle with holes so that you can scoop your food out from the pot because we don't want the soup to dilute our sauce. A plate to just hold our stuff so that our table doesn't get dirty. And then, oh, Joe bought another sauce out. This is the Okazu spicy chili miso sauce. It's really good. I always get this whenever I go to the one of a kind show. They sell them at multiple locations, um, like Sobeys, Metro. Metro, yeah. So all we're missing is a pot. Oh, and that's the butane that we have to put in. Okay, you don't have to turn this on first, but usually we put the pot on. All right. The instant yeah, we're pretty. We're set up. We're ready to go. Ready to eat? Yeah, ready to eat. Whoa! This is the tomato. Oh. This is not the tomato. Oh my gosh. Anyways, while Joe is doing that, I'm gonna put together my sauce. So, number one. Sauce hot, Joe. And then they froze back together, fused. Mm -hmm, this looks a little diarrhea y ish. Is it? <laughs> it doesn't get diarrhea. Clearly, you can see that we're very comfortable with talking with diarrhea. Oh, 
We're getting close to finishing all our stuff. We finished all the meat. Close to finishing all the veggies. Working on this. All my veggies. Hello. I just came to say bye and say I wish you guys a good time. I'm so sh I'm so shy right now. Okay. So I hope you guys enjoyed this week's vlog. If you guys liked it and want to see more, please don't forget to subscribe using the buttons on the bottom. And I'll link everything below, everything we talked about today. And yeah, hope you guys have a great week ahead. We'll see you guys soon. Bye.